I really like the music. Hi everyone, welcome to Friday. Mal's continuing to work through uh, Pikmin 4. What do you look so sad? What's wrong, honey? I know, I know exactly what it is. You want me to sit down because you want in my lap. I bet you anything. I already gave him food. Anyway, um, we have something special that we're doing tonight. Mal wanted to make Salmon Wellington. And during stream tonight, there was a brief moment where we made a little wager. We were getting a, a heart container, and I was like, we have got to be starting our second row of heart containers. And I was like, I don't think so. And I was like, definitely. She's like, loser makes dinner? And I was like, absolutely. Anyway, I was wrong. So now I am the one making salmon wellington, which sounds complicated because... Wellington reminds you of beef Wellington, which is a particularly difficult dish to create. But Mouse said it's actually not that bad. It's not. So I believe her, and I'm going to make this. So Mal, where did you hear about salmon Wellington? Costco subreddit. Costco subreddit. It was like you can get everything but the puff pastry at Costco. Okay. You don't want all the liquid that's in that bag, probably. Probably not. It'll be fine. Just don't worry about it. Everything's gonna turn out great. I'm gonna take care of everything. It'll all be uh, fine. Just trust the process. You know, for this thing that I've never made before. All right, so we're just gonna do a little salt and pepper. <laughs> I looked up a recipe and um, you know, I'm following that. In my head, I mean, I. I can read and remember like certain things for some periods of time. All right, so that's seasoned. That's also how I prefer my salmon, by the way, is like if I'm gonna have salmon, I don't usually put any thing on just it. Don't like cross-contaminate this dip. I'm just gonna cross-contaminate the dip. I have a system. Okay. I have a dip system. I think it's important that every red-blooded American have a dip system if you don't have a dip system, <laughs> what are you doing? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is, this is the patented Stephen George dip system. Check this out. So what happens is, this is the dip spoon. This is the not dip spoon. So what we do is we, we, acquire, we acquire the dip, right? And then this never touches the fish and just is placed on top, okay? This is the patented, it's not patented, I can't legally say that. This could be a patented dip system. All right, so maybe just a little bit more. We're gonna save some for chips, I'll tell you that. So we add a bunch of this on here. And now, is this more than I should? I don't it know. doesn't matter. So that is the dip spoon. Dip spoon used. So now we don't need the dip spoon anymore. Although, I think I'm gonna rinse it off and then just keep it over here because we're probably gonna have some spinach and artichoke dip with chips, and I can just use this same spoon. So I'm gonna place my dip spoon over here. Now, we use the spreading spoon to do a little spreading. So I'm gonna do a little spreading here. This does kinda look like a lot of dip. Maybe it's fine. I don't know anything about this. Okay, we do this. I'm also realizing now that I didn't center this very You should good. probably turn it 90 degrees, too. Oh, that's really smart. Okay, let me, uh, let me turn this. This might fall apart, actually, if I do that. Maybe. You may just have to use your hands and then wash them again. Yeah. Okay, that was a much better idea. All right, so now I've used my spread and spoon. So we're done with my spread and spoon. Spread and spoon goes in the sink. I rewash my hands. Okay, so now we fold this up. You wrap it up real we good. Wrap it up real good. Mm -hmm. So I've never actually worked with puff pastry in my life, but I'm gonna pull this over here. Like I'm putting it in a little uh, coffin. You probably wanna put a little bit of water to like seal it. 
Um, things you could have told me moments before. <laughs> Just rinse your hand under some water and then, like, touch it. Uh, okay, well, that's a good idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Did that kind of all... That's fine. Did I do it? Yeah. All right. I've never puffed, I've never puffed a pastry before. This is new. This is a new world. Like, new, unexplored world. So I'm going to pull that over. Okay. And then this... I can fold it up, but that's going to make a lot of... That's fine. All right. So here we go. Look at that. That is a Hot Pocket. If Hot Pockets had spinach and artichoke salmon... I no, might, I might be it. interested. Oh, flip it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't remember that part of the... I can't remember if egg washes are just egg whites or the whole thing. So I'm using the whole thing and I don't see why that matters. Uh, hmm. One of the little paring knives. Those are the sharpest. Oh, I was looking for the thing that spreads the egg wash. Oh, the brush? I think that's in the other drawer. We really need to get some like organizers. Mm, there's this one. Yeah, that one's fine. This is the this is the OG. This is what we had, and then uh, a good knife for this. This will work. That's serrated. serrated. Don't use the serrated. I couldn't tell it was serrated. Green handle is not. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we'll do this. This thing is dumb. Yeah, I don't really like the silicone pastry brush. Yeah, it's very stupid. Um, it works better with egg though like sometimes i use oil on it and it just doesn't do anything yeah it's really not that bad with the egg it's just kind of funny doing like funny. that's probably plenty but get the sides with yeah. what you have yeah i gotta get the sides that's plenty with what you have i'm just making sure that i do a good job because you can't see on this side i don't have it good all right so now Oh, you're gonna get your tummy fed soon. Now we have to score it. So I'm gonna just kind of go a whoosh. Score, score, sc <laughs> score, score. Those are so score, close together. Score, score, score. See, this is fun because this is like someone who has a vague idea of how this works, but has never done it. So like, I've seen like cooking shows and I'm like, all right, I have like a vague idea of how this works. And it's true, I do have a vague idea of how this works. Unfortunately, it is vague. Uh, it does I think, say- no, that's plenty of egg. It said you to do not, it with- No, you put so much egg on it already. <laughs> I thought I did the proper amount. Anyway, okay, so now this just pops in for 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah. Aren't you glad that I lost the bet so I had to make the salmon Wellington? Because I am. This thing came out beautiful. I mean, that is a beautiful looking thing. I don't know exactly what it's gonna taste like, but probably good. Because putting puff pastry around something makes it good. I cut this in half so I could get the little cross section. But also, Mal was like, I think we only need to make one. And you were right. Yep. You were definitely right, because this thing's huge. I see you've already jumped in. A hop. Yeah, that was gonna be my first question is, what is it like? But I guess heat is also gonna be a large part of this. At least we know it's not cold. That's very good. It is very good. It's, it's very fancy. Mm-hmm but it was not difficult to make. Easier than beef wellington. Yeah. I've never made beef wellington. I have. I, but I know you have and I've seen you do it and um, this is easier. Fun. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?
Thank you.